independence of the South African Reserve Bank is in the Constitution. Mm. We should respect that. That's number one. Two, the Concord found public protectors finding and remedial actions are binding. Right? But coming to this one, what has the uh, governor of the Reserve Bank and the Reserve Bank said about this one? Mm. They said they are taking this thing for a judicial review. So that's where they are going to, to challenge uh, the, 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 the public protector. These are, are the strengths of our institutions which the rating agencies are talking about, mm. right? That uh, um, um, <coughs> decisions can be taken and then there are processes of dealing with those, with, with those things. I think let's, let's, let's pack that. The roles of central banks uh, in the world, they perform different uh, uh, roles, but the main one is the, pro is the protection of the value of the currency. Even if you look at, at the constitution, it says the Reserve Bank primary responsibility, doesn't say that the only responsibility is the protection of the value of money, the value of our currency, which is a very important. Way. You know what the problems of high and hyperinflation is. Now, I think one thing that I found missing in our arg arguments is that I saw people not playing the ball because I think we need to, to start. What, what that does for me is that say, let's, let's start debating this, this, this issue, right? Rather than playing the men or read the women in this case, let's play the ball. Let's interact with what, what is there. For me, it, it, it opens up a very important academic uh, 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 discussion, which uh, 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 the, the question of the role of reserve banks is a very contentious thing mm. in, in the world. There's, people don't just agree that it should only be in, 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 in inflation control. We're still inflation, inflation targeting. Um, I, I once asked a, a question from one of the former reserve banks that uh, we arrived on the bend of 3 to 6 percent inflation targeting under, difficult, under different economic conditions. Uh, do you think that perhaps under these trying economic conditions we need to revisit the bend? I'm not saying, I was not saying that you need to, to say, is it still relevant for all seasons to have a 3 to 6 percent inflation, inflation rate? I don't think there is a, 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 a correct uh, or wrong answer to that. All what it says, let's, 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 let's discuss that. And say, who of us here knows how we arrived at 3 to 6% uh, inflation targeting? Because other, other, other jurisdictions, they have got a point inflation, 2%, not a band. Others have got a, 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 a smaller band. Other reserve banks have got dual purposes. Mm -hmm. yeah. For instance, they'll tell you that they, they also target growth, they also target em, 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 employment. And the and writers, scholars on, 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 that, on that issue. Uh, if you want to go and read, you may go and read, uh, amongst others, uh, Epstein. You, you may go and read Paul Krugman. Uh, you may go and read uh, the Nobel Prize winner, uh, Professor Joseph Stiglitz. We have got views on this thing. Uh, I'm, what I'm trying to say here is that let's, let's not be intellectually lazy mm -hmm. and start attacking people instead of dealing with the points which are being put there, mm -hmm. right? You don't start characterizing a person she's this and captured by who and so on. For me, it's, 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 it's just a complete in, in intellectual laziness. Let's, let's not do that. Mm -hmm. There are issues which we must, we, 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 we must discuss. And then let's allow a superior argument to win. Right? And I think being at Gibbs, this is that's where these things should, should, should happen. Let's not uh, accept these things as gospel truth. Economic policy is not a gospel truth. It changes. It's dynamic. It gets affected by a number of, 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 of factors, both economic and political uh, issues. So that's, 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 that's what I, I think you, you heard me. I, if I must underline again, as National Treasurer, we believe so much on the independence of the South African Reserve Bank. And the, 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 the governor has taken this thing on judicial review. 
which is something which our institutions do provide for. At the same time, which is a correct way, because if he didn't, he would have had to implement what the, mm. uh, the public protector had said, because her findings are binding. Uh, Dr. You have covered this thing off again, I think, which is, which is very important. Uh, Minister Malusi Kigaba has got no police. Uh, neither does his unknown deputy minister, Swiss of we don't, we don't have policies. Ne? Minister Pravin Kodan didn't have policies. Neither did Mkrebisi Jonas. The policies that those of us who are deployed in government we implement are ANC policies. So let's, let's, let's desist from this thing of uh, 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 associating policies with individuals because that's, that's why we end up getting into some problems. If there's problems, uh, uh, there are problems with them. The end is, these are ANC uh, 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 policies. That's why, for instance, we are going uh, 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 to a, 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 a policy conference towards the end of the week to go and, and revisit our policies and see uh, whether they are working or not working. So before then, the policy stance of the ANC stands. The point that I've been at pains to, 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 to make is that if you, for instance, you were talking about fiscal cons consolidation uh, uh, <coughs> and the budget that uh, minister, uh, former Minister Praveen presented, is that that, that budget first get uh, uh, discussed uh, 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 by the cabinet. And, and then once the cabinet agrees, it then comes to standing committee on finance, which I was party to. I come from that committee. So that budget would not have been passed if we didn't agree with it. So the very fact that it, 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 it passes because we agreed with that budget. So it's no individual's budget, right? The parliament has bought into it. We were there. It's our budget. We believe in it. Uh, uh, we are saying that's what should guide uh, the, the fiscals of the country. <laughs>